How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Uh, we're going to be making some hors d'oeuvres out of these uh, ramps. Uh, pretty simple, but very good. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Okay, the only thing you're going to need for this is some Philadelphia uh, cream cheese, some ramps. We're not going to be using the stems or the bulbs. We're just going to use the leaf and some ham. Okay, what I'm going to do is we're going to take our ramps and we're just going to cut this stem off. We don't want the hard part of the stem. So we're just going to go through these and cut all these off. Anything that looks like part of the stem that would go down to the bottom, just going to hack it off. Now you could take those bottom pieces there if you want and fry them up in some eggs or whatever. That would be fine. Because they'll get cooked and get tender. But what we're doing right now, we don't want that part of them. So I'm going to go ahead and get all these guys cut off, cleaned up. And uh, we'll get Shins back in here. Okay, it's probably best to do this when your cream cheese is a little bit, maybe like room temperature, uh, would make it spread better. But you just get your, uh, use a cooked ham or whatever type of ham you like. And uh, we're just going to lay it down. We're going to take some of this cream cheese. Mine would just come out of the fridge, so this may be a little bit hard to get on here. But what we want to do is a nice thin layer of this cream cheese over this. Just a thin layer because we're doing a big piece of meat here. Just like so. And then we're going to take some of our ramps. We're going to lay the ramps down on here. We want to be able to taste them. So we'll do a couple layers here. And that's why it's best just to use the leaf. If you could do this with scallions too, uh, if you want to, if you like uh, onions, you could do this with scallions too. So then we're going to start on one side and we're just going to start rolling. And we're going to roll it as tight as we can get it. This may take a while to do these, but they're worth it. Okay, once we got them down like this, now we'll trim the ends off. We'll trim an end off. And that's for you to eat right now, see? We could eat them ourselves right now. So. Now you can serve them just like that, or you can just cut them in half. And then you end up with a nice little bite size. Oh, you see that? Looks good. Oh, nice little hunk. Or you can cut them again. And get yourself four of them out of there. And just keep repeating the process until you get all your ham and your ramps done and you'll have nice little hors d'oeuvres okay I got a nice little plate there I'm gonna lay these on so we're gonna get us another one another piece of ham lay it out get our cream cheese I'm kinda of scraping that cream cheese as it's warming up here a little bit and then a real thin layer of that cream cheese. Just 
do our ramps again. Oops, sorry. Start rolling. Always use a little bit of that cream cheese right there on the end. That kind of glues them together. Chop the ends off. Eat. Mm. That's why I like making these. Try to get them the same size if you can. I'm going to place them on our little plate here. We'll just keep going until we get a big old plate of them here. So when I get done here, this one here looks too big. I think I'm going to have to eat him. We'll go ahead and get these finished up and show you what they look like when they're all done. If you have a hard time with your uh, cream cheese spreading on there, just take a dry paper towel and uh, dab some of that moisture off of it. And then uh, it should spread better being wet against wet it wants to slide so it's still going to slide a little bit but drier is better this is going to be my last one <clears throat> And these ramps are best to use when they first start coming up because they're nice and tender. They're really good right now. And I just put, the reason why I do three things here is so they go all the way through the uh, little hors d'oeuvre. When you look at it, you can see it going all the way through it. And then the cream cheese helps it stick together. Okay, there is our little hors d'oeuvres all finished up. Uh, I think they look pretty good there, and I'm sure they taste really good. So, so what they look like. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, uh, hors d'oeuvre video here. Uh, I'm not much of a cook, but um, I usually just make things that I like, whether they're cooked right or not. And one thing about these is I don't have to cook nothing. So it doesn't matter how they're done. So as long as they look like that, they're going to be good. So I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Now i got to sit here and eat all these by myself. <laughs>